Welcome to Brno, the second largest city in the Czech Republic. Brno was the former capital of the historic region of Moravia and is now the administrative center of South Moravia. Framed by the splendid countryside of the Czech Republic South, Brno was founded a thousand years ago and flourished during the 19th and 20th centuries when it became a major industrial center. Nowadays, Brno is a lively university city, a cultural and scientific hub and a destination renowned for its large-scale fairs and exhibitions. Brno is also famous for its coffee culture nightlife and gastronomy. Brno is a compact city, ideal for those who enjoy exploring a new destination on foot. But this doesn't mean that you should spend just a few hours in Brno. To fully enjoy your trip to Brno, you have to take it slow. Come join us on our quest to uncover the secrets of Brno, Czech Republic's underrated gem. The best way to travel between Central European cities is by train. Brno couldn't be an exception. Trains that go from Prague to Vienna, Bratislava or Budapest and vice versa stop in Brno, which means that the city can be one of several stops on your train adventure across Central Europe. Brno's main train station is situated in the city centre, within walking distance of the best Brno attractions. The first thing you notice when arriving in Brno is the city's architecture. Baroque, Art Nouveau and functionalism, all these architectural trends help Brno narrate its history through its diverse buildings that range from residential villas to commercial properties. Brno is one of the best cities to learn about functionalism. In fact, the city is a real-life study of this architectural trend. Functionalism in architecture means that buildings are designed based on nothing but their function. Some of the finest examples of functionalist architecture in Brno are Hotel Avion and the Brno Exhibition Center. Uh, Brno is one of the cities where modern architecture was built in the 1920s and we are now in the building which is to prove it. This is the A Pavilion, the main exhibition hall of Brno Exhibition Centre. This building was constructed in the 1920s, it's one of the city architecture's highlight or one of the important pieces of architecture you can see in Brno uh, and many, many others. So, this is definitely something we are proud of and want to show. However, the ultimate highlight of Brno's functionalist architecture is Villa Tugendhat. Built between 1929 and 1930, Villa Tugendhat is a symbol of modern architecture and this is why it was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2001. Speaking of architecture, another essential stop in Brno is the Old Town Hall, the city's oldest secular building. There, you will be welcomed by a very famous local guy, the so-called Brno Dragon, who is actually a crocodile, and you will see the Brno Wheel. The Old Town Hall is where you catch the most breathtaking views of Brno from the building's 63-meter tower. Since 1935, this building is no longer Brno's town hall. The new town hall is situated at Dominican Square. Other notable buildings to see in Brno are the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul, which overlooks the city from atop Petrov Hill, and the fairy tale like Spielberg Castle. The latter has had a fascinating life throughout the centuries. From a royal residence, it became a military fortress and then a prison. Nowadays, the castle hosts exhibitions and various events and it's one of Brno's best viewpoints. 
As you walk around Brno, you will inevitably reach the city's vegetable market, which has been in the exact same location since the 13th century. Complete with statues and fountains, food trucks and colorful stalls selling fresh fruit and vegetables, Brno's open-air market is one of the city's liveliest spots. But did you know that the vegetable market is where an exciting journey into the city's depths begins? No, it's not a figure of speech. Beneath the vibrant city that lives and breathes on the ground, there's another one that lies hidden underground. Brno has a multitude of underground spaces, many of which remain undiscovered. A great place to start your exploration of Brno underground is the labyrinth under the vegetable market, an intricate network of medieval cellars and storage rooms. Another underground location not to miss is Brno's Ossuary, the second largest ossuary in Europe after the catacombs in Paris. Brno's Ossuary is the resting place of more than 50,000 people. Its existence wasn't known until very recently in 2001, when the ossuary was discovered by chance during a land survey of St. James Church that is built over it. The journey into the depths of Brno underground continues at the 10Z bunker. Originally an air raid shelter during the Second World War, the bunker was turned into a wine store after 1946. The successful business was then confiscated by the communists, who started reconstruction works to transform it into a nuclear fallout shelter. Nowadays, the bunker functions as a museum, but also as a, wait for it, hostel. Yes, you can spend the night within the walls of an actual air raid shelter, if you dare. Yet another aspect of Brno that you might want to explore during your trip is the city's strong ties with science. Brno was, is and forever will be a city dedicated to science and high technology. But in Brno, science doesn't happen behind closed doors. In Brno, science is for everyone. This is most evident at the Vida Science Center, an impressive and super fun space where people of all ages can play with countless interactive exhibits or carry out scientific experiments. Another essential stop for science enthusiasts is the Brno Observatory and Planetarium, where you can look at the constellations through a telescope on a clear starry night or watch a 3D movie on a cloudy one. In the heart of the city, you can get a taste of Brno's attachment to science at the city's so-called astronomical clock. Figuring out the time isn't easy, but the clock holds a special surprise every day at 11 am, when it releases a glass marble from one of its holes. You can keep this as a souvenir if you're lucky enough to catch it. We weren't. But what if you feel like venturing out of the city for a while during your trip to Brno? Well, we have good news for you. Brno is situated a short drive or bus ride from one of the Czech Republic's most stunning regions, the celebrated Moravian Tuscany. One of the best things to do in Brno is to spend a day exploring the beauties of South Moravia, and more specifically, the area called Moravian Tuscany. It is called like that for a reason, because it has rolling hills and vineyards for as far as the eye can see. If you want to appreciate the beauty of South Moravia, one of the easiest hiking trails to follow is the one that leads from Sardice to Stavesice, two quaint villages nestled in the heart of the Moravian countryside. Walking from Sardice to Stavesice, or vice versa, is the easiest way to get a good taste of Moravian Tuscany's charms if you don't have a lot of time to spare. That said, if your schedule allows it, there are several other tiny villages to explore in this area of unfathomable beauty that will make you want to pinch yourselves to make sure you're not dreaming. Where there are vineyards, there's wine. When in Brno, don't miss the chance to sample South Moravia's superb wine. Still untouched by mass tourism, 
Brno is an authentic city to visit and experience with all of your senses, an underrated destination that is sure to offer you a trip to cherish for life. If you're looking for more secret gems to add to your Czech Republic itinerary, check out our Liberage travel documentary.